the Miami Heat are currently up three games to zero. That zero against the Boston Celtics. Jimmy Butler redemption. We're all praying for it. That sh it wasn't a bad shot. Beat the Celtics. They deserve every bit of this. Please sweep them. They deserve it. Them and their fans. F the Celtics. Jimmy Butler didn't even need to score. He only scored 16 points. They lost to Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent Tatum was ass. Jayla Brown was ass. Just like in this game against the Hornets. Game three, I believe it was. Uh, game four. Game four in this first round matchup. Brown only had 19 points on 9 for 20 shooting. Couldn't hit a three. Just like in real life. Crazy. Got outplayed by undrafted players. I'm so sick and tired of hearing the undrafted players stuff. Like, yeah, we get it. The undrafted. Congratulations. This they're still better than all these other players that I drafted. Shut up about it. Anyways, uh, Cedric Lewis had a near triple double drop of 43 points. Lamel Ball had 32 points. Greatest game by a duo in NBA playoff history. I'ma say that. I ain't gonna do the stats to back it up. Anyways, let's go put our stats in the center 2K. And here we go. All Cedric stats are put in. Check off the win. Game four is in the books. So let's see if we can send the Chicago Bulls home and move on to round two. Game five of round one of this Eastern Conference first round Hornets Bulls matchup. Bulls gave us a little bit of a scare there in game two. They tied the series up one apiece, but now in a 3 1 hole. Can they come back? Can they make this game a well, bring it to a game six? I was gonna say, can they make it a six game series? Can they bring it to six? We'll figure it out. Just remember, this Bulls team is supposed to be in a rebuild, and they snagged the six seed. After signing Jalen Brown out of free agency, they drafted a highly, highly um, recruited player in uh, Buzelis. I think is how you say his name. Buzelis, a uh, number 11. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he is, I think, in the 2024 draft. It's supposed to be like the top pick, number one overall pick. He's a 6'10 shooting guard. They drafted him, and they're right back into the playoffs. But facing elimination here, I tried to pass it to Lamelo Ball and didn't let me. And the key for Lamelo Ball is. We just got to get him going in the pick and roll game, and he will score just like that. Don't worry about his jump shot, because that ain't working. Get him going in the pick and roll game, and he will be scoring. And I just noticed that the Bulls have opted to start Valanchunas over Clint Capella in this game as Aiton gets the block. Maybe for the shooting, for the floor spacing, I don't know. But Valanchunas gets the start over Clint Capella who is the better player, and what what a lineup change. They actually, oh, Jay Rich from downtown. They actually made a lineup change. That's kind of surprising. I don't know if he was starting last game. I don't remember. But I do know Quint Capella was the starter for a majority of this season. Cedric stats for the first round. 39 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists. It doesn't get better than that. And, okay, Jalen Brown actually hit that 3 contested. Jalen Brown. Showing out a little bit here. He was two for six to start off. Knocks that one down. See if he can knock down a few more. Lamella Ball. Kobe White did the smart thing to stay with me. But they have yet to be able to stop this pick and roll between Lamello and Cedric. It has been unstoppable. Lamello already has, I think, maybe eight points in this game. Eight or ten. I believe so. Jay Rich has a three. I'm not going to do the math, dude. But uh, I believe um, Cedric and Lamella Ball are in for a hell of a game together. All right, Cedric getting subbed out for the first time in this game. Up by nine. All right, not the biggest lead, but a very favorable one. And up by 11 now as our bench does their job. Austin Reeves and the Bulls bench unit. They're running a two big lineup right now with Valanchunas and Capella, but we, we, have very, we have a very small lineup in the game right now. They have Capella, who's seven foot, I believe. Valanchunas, who's seven foot. And, uh... Buzelli's, I think that's how I'm going to pronounce his name, number 11, who is 6'10 in the game. So they have a very, very big lineup in the game. Will it work out for them? It, it might. It definitely, definitely might because we got Tyus Jones. Oh, Nick Richards with the block. We got Tyus Jones, myself, pulling up, transition, bang. Cedric from downtown. Tyus Jones, who's six foot. Cedric Lewis, who's 6'4". Finney Smith, who's like 6'6". Um, at power forward, Struis, who's 6'5", and Nick Richards, who I believe is 7 foot. I think Nick Richards 7 foot, as Kobe White knocks down that three. Buzelli's 
is only one for six. Tyus Jones, again, open. He missed that one. Ooh, it looked like it was on target. He just knocked down one on the other possession. As you can see, one for two. That was a tough one to miss. And the Bulls are going to stay with this two big lineup of Capella and Valanchunas and try and get us on the height advantage. But we have Aiton and Marketing back in the game. But both are not plus defenders. So I guess that is their goal. But if their goal is to leave Cedric wide open, front, he celebrated and it wasn't even a green. Cedric Lewis, bro. That man is different. Lonzo Ball just got his first points of the game. He is one Four threes so far in this one. Aiton sets the screen. I'm a pump fake. Aiton gets right by Valanchunas. Lulled him to sleep. And gets the slam. Aiton knocks down another one. He just knocked down a sidestep step back jumper over Jalen Brown. Possession before that. Never seen him do something like that before as Aiton is going to commit the personal foul there. Substitution's coming in. Banton is coming into the game for... I... Don't even know. I honestly forgot who the hell was even in the game. Oh, Buzelli's he came in for. So they end up subbing out Buzelli's after he went cold and is once again struggling. Banton comes in, who has been pretty solid in this series for the Bulls. Lonzo takes a contested shot. Valanchunas cleans it up. It's off, though. We got Lamelo back in the game. Lamelo, keep cutting or stop cutting. You know, it's fine. Throw up the lob. Lamelo to set. Oh, my God. I missed the dunk. That, that's just sad. Jalen Brown and transition. I should have got that steal. Jalen Brown. Hell no. It's off. On the break. The Hornets. Going on the break. No one else is following though. Uh, Aiton with the screen. Oh, and the, I, I, I did not know I was going to back up there. Yeah, sent to the bench here with the near triple double. 15 points, 7 rebounds, 10 assists. Going into halftime for Lewis. And we are up by 22 points here in game five of this first round series. On the ball, gets a screen from Buzelli's. Jalen Brown now with the ball. Bulls trying to make some sort of a comeback. I am all over it on the break. No one near me, Cedric, with the layup. Don't want to get injured now. Can't have a Derrick Rose situation. 37 to 62 so far, three minutes into the third quarter, and the Bulls are going to call a timeout. Aiton's got 10, Lamelo's got 14, Cedric has 17. The big three is playing to their potential so far in these playoffs. All right, I'm getting subbed out. Up by 23 points in this third quarter. It's not looking good for the Bulls. And we're up by 21 points with Nick Richards at the line nearing the end of the third quarter. Minute and a half left. Nick Richards actually misses that one. They had their bench unit in the game plus Valanchunas. And the Bulls' playoffs hopes looking like they're dwindling away here in Game 5 as Tyus Jones runs directly into Valanchunas. Eight seconds left in the quarter. We got to run. We got to run. Nick Richards, go for it. He misses it. All right. We're going to have a 23-point lead heading into the fourth quarter of this Game 5. The Hornets look like they're going to move on to Round 2 and possibly have a rematch against the Sixers. Traylon Brown... It's actually having a good showing here. 21 points on 53% shooting. A lot better. Probably his best game of these um, playoffs so far as Aiton throws down the hammer. But actually, no, I forgot. I think what was the game two? I think game two he had like 25 points on pretty efficient shooting. So definitely not his best game, but one of them. Uh, 21 points on 53% shooting from the field is nothing to scoff at. But what is to scoff at is a 24-point deficit and a possible elimination game for the Bulls. And Buzelli's finally gets one to go down. All right, I'm getting subbed out. Probably going to get subbed back in, let's be honest here. It's just the way 2K works here. I was two rebounds away from a... Yeah, see, I got subbed in like 50 seconds later. I'm two rebounds away from triple-double, but I don't think I am going to get it personally because uh, my rebound just keeps getting stolen. See, like, it, they just don't land in my direction. The only thing I can do is... If I really wanted to be scummy, which I'm not going to do because this is a my career, not my league, is I could um, sub out eight in and put myself at like a power forward or center position. But I'm not going to do that. It's just not worth it. It just feels scummy to do that because this is supposed to be my career. I'm not supposed to have control over things like that. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And if I get the rebounds, I get the rebounds. Jalen Brown, I'm just going to leave him open, bro. Don't matter to me. See? I, I got two seven-footers in the paint, all right? The fact that I have 
eight rebounds is already a surprise. Lonzo in the paint. Man, they're making everything now. I'm one rebound away from a triple-double. And now they want to start hitting all their shots, bro. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. What a bounce pass to DeAndre Ayton there from Tyus Jones. I thought he was going to kick it out to me. But he did not. Jalen Brown is ice cold. I just really want, I want my triple-double here, man. Just give me my triple-double, all right? Jalen Brown, I'm giving you space. I don't want to be guarding the main scorer. Jalen Brown, midi. It's off. You stole. Oh, my God. He stole my. Yep, that's it. You are never seeing the ball from me again, Larry. Valanchunas, bro. This has to be it. Bro, how are they hitting all of these? They have not missed. They are hitting all their shots now. Bro, what? Oh, my God, man. They are just hitting everything now. I don't understand it. Where was this earlier in the game? When I'm trying to get a rebound, they hit literally all their shots. But when they're down, they're not hitting nothing, bro. You gotta be kidding me, 2K, bro. You got to be kidding me. I should have had a triple-double anyways. If, let's see if Alan is gonna do it again. I, bro, Aiton, stay with... He does it again. Yep, there, there goes my hopes of a triple-double. Because Lowry Marketing took it from me. And Valanchunas turned into Prime Shaq. That's crazy, bro. That is actually insane. I should have had a triple-double. But we're going to eliminate the Chicago Bulls in five games. Final box score. LaMelo Ball, 26 points, 3 rebounds, 10 assists, 4 steals. Had an insane series after... A, I think it was a bad game one. I think he played terrible in game one, if I'm not mistaken. Games one and two, he was awful. Then had the 51-point game, had the 32-point game, and capped it off with a 26-point game. Cedric Lewis should have had a triple-double. I struggled in this game, too. 8 for 20 from the field. Two steals. I had seven turnovers. Most of those came in the fourth quarter. Yeah, four of those came in the fourth quarter. Uh, but should have had a triple-double. Almost average triple-double for this series. Uh, Aiton had 16 and 13. He had a good series. Jay Rich, difference maker. 13 points. Hit all of his threes. Mark it in. You shouldn't have had 12 rebounds. You should have had 11. I'm very upset with you. Uh, he had a good game. Nick Richards played great off the bench like usual. And for the Bulls, Jalen Brown, struggle of a series. Only shot 44% from the field, 30% from three. And that is going to go down now because those are not the updated stats. Uh, 9 for 21, 2 for 9 from three. Uh, Kobe White played great in this game. Uh, not the series, though. Lonzo Ball played horrific. LaMelo had him clamped. And then Buzelli's, bro. Look at these split six points, four rebounds, 23% from the field, 20% from three. He is a rookie. This is his first series ever. But man, how terrible. Valentinus played really well in this start. 10 points, eight rebounds, three steals, two blocks. Other than that, not much else from the Bulls. And they are eliminated. And we will go on to face either the Sixers if they can close out the Pistons. Or if the Pistons come back 3-1, we'll be facing Detroit. Either way. That's going to be for me. GG.